Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, it's Paul down at CCRV uh, where we sell American fifth wheels here in the UK. Uh, we're doing a video today on some real customers that have actually lived in it full time. So this video really is really helpful if you're thinking about full time living off grid, something like that. Um, let's go and have, over and have a look at them. They're staying, they bought a Rockwood off us. Um, and so there's Phil, Joe, I'm back in the dog. Uh, so we'll go over, and we, this is a totally off the wall type video. Uh, we're gonna introduce you to them and get their honest opinions on how successful it's been to live, you know, right 365 days of the year, cold weather, warm weather, off grid, on a campsite, and the modifications that Phil's carried out to the van that are sort of beneficial or what he thinks are good for him and have worked out in his lifestyle so we'll have a walk over there now and i'll introduce you to them we'll see who runs away from the camera first all right follow me there you are bracken you say hello say hello go on say hello bracken come on come on in, in you go come on in in Goodbye. in the van that's it hello <laughs> you widow, widow, widow. Widow, widow. Sorry, cuts it all out with the crap he cuts out. Yeah. Right, hi everyone, this is Joe Bracken, our little film star dog. <laughs> and Phil. Right, so why did you buy a fifth wheel as opposed to a caravan or a motorhome? Well, we, we, we were looking for alternatives and we were looking at um, uh, canal barges and sheds in the wood and things because yeah. we were renting originally. Uh, we've got various different lives behind us, lots of baggage. So we were renting and it was £1,000 a month and we felt it just wasn't sustainable long term to retire and so we looked around and uh, looked at initially twin axle caravans and we knew people with twin axle caravans and put awnings on the side and deckings and Joe, we looked at them they were like 30 grand, some of them were 30 grand yeah. and Joe says we can't, I can't just live like that I top myself yeah. first well, in a caravan? yeah, yeah. yeah. not wide enough yeah. I need no. space yeah. <laughs> So we, we went to a, a show and we saw, um, what, I don't know you call them, a travel trail, a pull along. And we liked that very much. And we're looking into it and then we found uh, Fifth Wheels. We started watching people online actually, the American yeah. family we knew. Yeah. And we, we looked online at various ones and we, my brother lives in Ipswich. So we came past you and called him one Saturday morning, so Avril. She showed us three like this and it's just wow inside, it's just phenomenal. And we walked away, we were buying one. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> There you go. Back in my position. <laughs> <laughs> right, so how long have you actually owned it now then? It'll be five years in February. Oh, I can't believe the time's gone so That's quick. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's paid for in February. Yeah, it's we bought, we mad. Bought, we yeah. bought this, we bought the Rockwood. Uh, it's the ultralight with, um, you know, bathroom in there, or Centre Island. Joe, Joe wanted the Centre Island. Yeah. And I looked at the, the Ford Ranger and I looked at dealerships yeah. and it was more expensive to buy the similar model, similar age, and then put the accessories on. So you had one here, and we bought the... the well, we got trailer. you with the truck as well. We the truck as well. Yeah, yeah so we got so, you with the truck. So and everything. Amazing, we got finance for this, and yeah. I, I didn't think... We th I thought we'd spend as much as we can on this, and then we'll buy a cheap pickup or get this moved to where we're going to live. Yeah. And you had the Ranger, and Avril said, well, shall we try and get the Ranger on finance? So we got this on finance, Everything. separately. Yeah. It's still running. All oh, yeah, in yeah. three weeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All in three weeks. Yeah. So how have you push. found living in it? It's a, it's a transition. It's difficult. The, Joe found it difficult the first year. Yeah. Because you're giving up all your memories, and you're moving into what basically a small apartment. Yeah, defragging. And That's yeah. right. It was, it was, it was yeah, got somatic. rid of everything. Mm. And it, it is a transition. It's but <laughs> You... Um, People come in and they're amazed how much space there is and the height of the ceiling and everything else. Compared to a motorhome. That's right. Yeah. Oh yeah, we've, we've had friends yeah. at 80 grand on a motorhome and it's just yeah. not big enough. No. And no. Uh, they've sold it and gone, they went down to statics actually. Yeah. And they'd love this, but they're not at the same stage of life that we are. At least now, I'm 66, I've just started taking a pension. Uh, well next year, we can think about retiring. Yeah. And the plan is to move five years in, in Europe somewhere, come back for the five summers. Five months. Five yeah. months, sorry. Not in, in, five years. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so we're actually here based. We're down in the Cotswolds. Yeah, did, did you have difficulty finding anywhere to put it? No, the, the first place we went to, we, we actually went on a chat with the, the owners of the site, it was a campsite, and they had statics, caravan, and some, had some, a fifth wheel on there actually as well. 
but we introduce ourselves and told what we want yeah. to do. This is what I and say. This is what I say to a lot of people. You actually have to go in person yeah. uh, because it's more if they're letting you stay on the land or on the site. They really need to see you as a That's couple. Right. So yeah. rather than a lot of people phone up and yeah. they get a negative response. That's right. And you wanted to be based in that sort of area in the Cotswolds? Yeah, yeah. well, I, I was I was working um, not too far away. I drive drive for a living now, yeah. and it's it's good place to get down to Gloucester, Sirencester, yeah. Swindon, anywhere around that way. Yeah. Really. So that so that's worked out well on yeah. this side. Yeah, it's good. Um, so we're have you we're been anywhere smooth. traveling? Yeah, we've been up, up the uh, east coast all the way up and uh, across to Whitby. Up to the Lake District, yeah, all so around had, York. Had holidays and yeah. Yeah. Bumps. yeah, it's funny, you know, if you set off down the motorway, you think, What have I forgotten? Yeah, nothing because we've got the kitchen sink. Well, it's amazing, left it's really anyway, it? <laughs> it's really no, strange. So that's good. Yeah. And yeah. again, did you have any problems finding campsites when you was on no, holiday? No, there, there's various websites and forums you can go on, and, and they're all recommended. Uh, yeah. And uh, there is maps, and, and it's just a case of ringing up uh, you get the drop down menus to book in but you're better off just ringing up say this mm. is what we are this is the length it's what we are and uh, they're very accommodating yeah this is another myth or a lot of people have this question when they're new to it they say oh we, we're here we can't get them on campsites so, so we've sold them for nearly 18 years That's right. and yeah. I've never there's more been. and more now and also on a lot of drop down menus to book yeah there is actually fifth wheels on it yeah so there's more and more but it else. helps us if you get it from real mm. people that use them yeah. Because no one ever believes the salesman. No. <laughs> no. no. Too, too right as well. Yeah. Too right. Salesman's right. license. I used to do something. <laughs> yeah. But no, we haven't, we haven't honestly had a problem. Um, you, you've got to be honest with them. There's one up in Sherwood Forest, and when I said it was a fifth wheel, they said, oh, you won't get around the, the fencing. Yeah. Somebody's been and knocked the fencing down. Yeah. So, yeah, we looked elsewhere. Yeah. But no, there's never any problem. It's so, great. We go to one that's got a fishing lake, and you just pull straight up to it. You don't disconnect. Yeah. Get out, throw your rod in the pond, and away you go. So, that's great. So, really. Basically, the question is, would you buy another one? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and, and you've been happy with what you've yeah. bought. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Joe wanted one with a washing machine in, but then it's a few feet longer. It's a bit heavier, yeah. and this suits us perfectly. Perfect. And yeah. and would we would we buy it again? Yes, we would. Yeah. Would we change this one? Probably not because we put so much effort no, into no, it. No, no, no. It's just painting, a question I ask else. everybody when I do a little interview right. yeah. because it's a good response. If they say, "Oh no, it's the worst thing." Oh no, it was it was the right choice, you know? definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And so, so what we're do doing, Phil, is I know you've done lots of modifications, so what we'll do in a minute, after I think I'll get a bag of cup of tea or yeah, something, get one. <laughs> uh, what we'll do is we'll have a walk around and you can show us yeah, all, all means, the yeah. modifications that you've done to sort of enhance it, make the van better, yeah, yeah. you know, just to your lifestyle yeah. and that sort That's of fine, thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Well, I'll have a cup of tea on. now and a bit of that. Put the kettle on. Yeah. Right, so what sort of... Um, Modifications you've done. I see you've got some tubular heaters down there. Yeah, we, we put tubular heaters. Do they help out, do you think? Yeah, they help a lot of the condensation, keeps it warm in the corners. So that works. We'll put on... Yeah, you've got one there yeah, and one there. Both slides and yeah. one, one behind the sofa. Yeah, you've got one, one behind, behind the sofa. Yeah. Yeah. And one, one in the uh, the wardrobe in the bedroom, yeah. I suppose. You've done a bit of a redecoration. Yeah, Joe spent hours repainting it. What do you think it, it costs you in materials About just to redecorate 200. it? Yeah. Couple hundred quid. Yeah. Yeah, and she changed. She changed. Really. She changed blinds and put the. Oh yeah, you know, a, bit really nice. here, a bit more. It's lovely and bright in here. Yeah. yeah it's a bit bright of a bright. And what have you got? A smart TV. Yeah, swapped out the smart TV because we want. We use a lot of solar. We wanted a mains TV, two forty TV. Yeah. So and th this is Avril's suggestion, the IKEA cupboard. And what your IKEA cupboard? Yeah. Yeah. And it stops really stops people looking in at you. Right, and so good yeah. for storage. Yeah, just. Uh, Wardrobe, but all yeah, it is. Yeah, it used to have a mirror on the front, but it's second hand, but it's yeah. too heavy, so we changed the, the mirror. Yeah, that's and good. And I see you fitted a new cooker, swapped out the cooker, yeah, yeah swapped yeah, out the cooker. LPG. Yeah. Where did you get that? It was off IO, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. or appliances. What do you think that cost? It was oh. 400. Was it 400? You, you paid for it, didn't you? Yeah, and you think that was a good recommendation to change the cooker because you made it full time? Made a big difference yeah. full time, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but we don't use it that much, we use the Ninja. A lot. The Ninja. And that runs yeah. off the solar. Well, I think they're one of the best things you can buy for. One of Fantastic. Things, really. Does this work off your solar? Okay? It does, yeah. It's yeah. about uh, yeah. 1600 watt. So I'm right. save a bit of money on that. Yeah. yeah and then, so that's it, really. Yeah, that's it. We're going to put electrics in here for controls. Everything. Yeah, we haven't done a lot else, really, do you? No, right. I think that's it inside. 
Uh, I think what we'll do is we we'll go out now and have a look at what you've done outside. All right, let's have a look at the few modifications or bits and pieces extras on us. You've got some, what are they, reversing lights? Well, yeah, reversing lights and... Switch them on, let's have a look. Nighttime lights. That... Yeah, just for nighttime bits. Yeah, so we can use them for oh, yeah. nighttime viewing or... In there. Yeah, and I've got it wired up on, on the, the Ranger so it comes on reversing lights. I've done a lithium iron battery I built and that's put in there to Where keep is it. that in there? Yeah, you can't really see it so well. It's, it's tucked back in there so it keeps warm, really. It's just in the battery box in the middle yeah, there. Yeah. What's that? Lithium. That's lithium ion phosphate and oh, that's right. 280 amps. And that works with your solars. Perfect. And I've added uh, about 600 watts of solar on the roof. Is it? Yeah. I'm not going to get up there. No, I don't need to get up there. Through. Right, let's have a look under your solar panels. And then um, I'll, check, I'll check these out. Look. Might have to edit that bit out. Check these out. These are storage. <laughs> Love the chaos. I mean, storage. <laughs> storage. <laughs> <laughs> you have a bit of chaos. Yeah. So that's... Well, we got here. Yeah, let's have a new down. Yeah, yeah, go on then. Yeah, on that one then. Right, oh my God. There's a Jodrell bank in here. Yeah, well, we have... The inverter, I put a 1500 watt in and Joe blew it with a... Uh, and vacuum cleaner, so this up. is a three and a half thousand yeah. with a peak of seven. Yeah. We have a changeover switch and I've, I've done it designed so it runs on the battery, yeah. on the mains from the, from the uh, inverter, yeah. and when the battery gets too low it switches back to mains. Right. And then you've got a charger. It's quite a sophisticated system you've Yeah, got. I've got it so I've isolated the 120, yeah. so that's off most of the time, not you wasting energy. Yeah. Uh, the charger's isolated, I can turn it on and off, and I very rarely use it. works well, there's a good big perfect, save in the electric. Perfect sort of fortune, yeah. And what have we got down here? That's the uh, the Chinese diesel heater. Oh yeah. I researched those. I wasn't thinking the 84 quid could work very well. Yeah. Um, Eber spatches are better, I thought, but it works fantastic. I've had it 18 months and it works fantastic. So that's been a good extra as yeah, well. Yeah, it uses a ten, tenth of a litre per hour on lowest setting. It's yeah, nothing. Incredible, incredible. And I've got it ducted through, it warms the belly yeah. up, warms in here. Up. So basically you've got everything under here. Yeah, isolators for the solar panels and the off switches and buzz bars and 12 volt, um, 12 volt uh, fuses. Yeah. I had to crack cracked then, I don't know what that was. Yeah, so that, that problem, what do you think that saves you? Well, in, in the summer, we only spend about uh, 30, 30 pound a month. And in, uh, so in the winter, it's because there's no solar, it's about 200 pound a month. So yeah. it saves us, it saves us probably, probably 50 pound a month, really. Yeah, it's and good. Easily. Yeah, so you get your money back. Easily, yeah. yeah. And I've had no problems with it. Works perfect. Other than that, everything. So yeah. what do we do? We just tightened, tightened up your hitch for you. Uh, it had dried out. I think because we've been static for six months, yeah. uh, and with a, an airframe on it, I think it had dried up and it was just cracking and just over. Service and we just been tightened up. Lubricated, yeah. That was nice. Yeah. Well. Everything else is okay. Yeah. yeah lovely, it? Yeah, we love it. Pulls very well with the Ranger. Yeah. All right, there are folks. This is a real customer. This is Phil and me. <laughs> so it's over and out. Remember to like and subscribe. We all help us out. But real customers down here at CCRV. Thanks for watching.